Okay, so continuing on with the um, official sample paper for the junior cycle, the one that's on examinations.ie. So question nine looks like it's on volume. So a can in the shape of a cylinder, that's important, what shape is it, has a radius of 3.6 and a height of 10. Work out the volume of the can. Give your answer in centimetres cubed, correct to two decimal places. Okay, so area and volume, very important that you know where these formulae are in the log tables. So length and area are the first real pages of the log tables, page eight and nine. So length and area, that was two pages. And then if you flick on another one, you get surface area and volume, which, which deals with the 3D shapes, okay? So in the following, A represents the curved surface area, V represents the volume. So you see for all of them, there's two formula, one for surface area, one for volume. So go to your shape, whatever shapes in your, in your question, and then find the right formula. Watch out for this one here. Uh, the question can op often be a hemisphere, which is half a sphere, okay? So it would be half of the, it'd be half of the volume of a sphere if you were asked for a question on a hemisphere, okay? That one comes up a, a bit. Okay, but anyway, R1 was cylinder. Our formula is pi r squared h. Okay, and then I see from the diagram, h is the height of the cylinder and r is my radius. Okay, one thing I'm checking before I go any further is units, just to make sure that they're all in the same units and in the correct units. So centimeters and centimeters, that matches and they want my answer in centimeters cubed. So that's fine. I don't need to change any units. So it's equal to pi. My radius is 3.6 squared and my height is 10. Okay, grab your calculator. Did it say in terms of pi? No, it says two decimal places. Okay, so I'll explain that now in a, in, in, in a, in a, in a second. So that's pi by 3.6 squared by 10. So I'm getting... Uh, six, six, four, eight, five pi centimeters cubed. So if the answer says in terms of pi, I would have left it like this, okay? Now, all that means is, you know, pi is 3.14. It just means they haven't multiplied the 3.14 by six, four, eight over five, okay? That's all the in terms of pi means, but they don't want it in, in this instance. They want it to two decimal places, okay? So 407.15 centimeters cubed is the volume of one of those cans, okay? So radius, if that had said diameter, you would have had to half it, but it said radius. So pi r squared h. Okay, part B. 24 of these cans are to be packed in a closed rectangular box. Now, you know they're, they're cans, so they're gonna have gaps in the middle. OK, because circles don't uh, fit perfectly together. The cans will be arranged inside the box as follows. Height, length, width. Excuse me, write down the height, the length and the width of the smallest rectangular box that will be needed for these 24 cans. One is already done for you. So they got 28.8 centimetres for the length. We'll think about that now in a minute. The height, well, the height is an easy enough one. So one of them is 10. So two on top of each other is going to be 20 centimetres. Now the length. So I have one, two, three, four cans across, okay? Now, if you think about a circle, okay, can you see that the widest part of a circle is right across the centre, okay? And, and that would be the diameter. That is the widest part of the circle. And, and it's also the same coming down. Okay, that is also a diameter and it's also um, the widest part of the circle coming from the other side because it's completely symmetrical, okay? Um, so therefore, when I'm wondering what width is a circle, you go from the widest part, so you go from the diameter. Okay, if the radius is 3.6, okay? Then the diameter of that circle is 3.6 by two, which is equal to 7.2, 
Okay, so diameter equals 7.2 centimeters. Okay, so one of these cans is 7.2 across. Okay, now if I multiply that by four on my calculator, 7.2, that's how they got the 28.8. Okay, so this was 7.2 by four. Okay, so in the same way, when I'm getting the width, okay, I'm just looking at the diameter, of the others, I suppose, direction of the circle. And I have one, two, three cans back. One, two, three cans back. So to get the width, it would be 7.2 by three, which is 21.6 centimeters. Okay, so that's how you figure out. It's, it's not the first time I've seen a, a, a question like this. Um, so a circle, you're work, working with diameters. Okay, and that's the reason <clears throat> if you if you don't know how to do it, the easiest way or, or a way of trying to figure it out is to figure out, well, how do they get this answer and just play with the numbers um, in the circle to figure out and see if you can find out how do they get 28.8. So in other words, the first thing I would do for the length there is divide that by four because it's four cans across. OK, and then you'll get the 7.2 and then you'd never know. You might just tweak that that's twice 3.6. OK, because it's not going to be the height because you've already the height taken care of. OK, so that's how you can help figure out how to do the maths, work with the answer they gave you and, and, and do it backwards. OK, so work out the volume of the box. OK, so if I look at, at my formulas in the log tables, you'll see I have no one for a box. So no one for a cube or a cuboid, it's not in surface area, it's not in your log tables because they expect you to do to know it, okay? And it's because the cube and the cuboid was done from, from national school up, okay? But for um, a rectangle box or a cuboid, if you think about the volume, it is a 3D shape. So it's the length by the width by how much it comes up. So length by width by height, length by width by height, okay? So you go to your dimensions that you have down here, 20 by 28.8 by 21.6. Put those three into a calculator, did it say? It didn't say, I was just checking to see did it say centimeters cubed, but it didn't say. So that's what we're going to give it in. So one, two, four, four, one point six centimeters cubed this time. Again, always cubed when it's volume. Um, and you can remember it, it's a 3D shape. You have three dimensions, so therefore it's a cubed. Okay, work out the percentage of the volume of this box that is taken up by the 24 cans. Okay. Hard enough old question there to get your head around. Um, I suppose you have to know that cans, circle cans, don't fit fully into the box. OK, there is gaps between them. So although they touch at the at the diameter, you can see there's all this spare area around a can where nothing else will fit in. OK, so it's fresh air. OK, so how do I do that? Well, I have the volume of the box. I have volume of one can, so I need to find out volume of the 24 cans. So that's 24 multiplied by the volume of one can was 407.15. So 407.15 multiplied by 24 is 9771.6 centimeters cubed. Okay, so percentage. Now we've touched off percentage in, in a few different ways in a few different classes. And if you remember, I always have a kind of a general formula for, for percentage anything. So it's normally the difference 
over the original, okay? So it's this general formula I have in my head when I'm asked for percentages, percentages of anything really. So this could be profit, percentage profit, okay? So the difference would be the difference between the cost price and the profit. It could be percentage loss. It could be percentage anything. In this case, it's percentage of the volume of this box that's taken up by the 24 cans, okay? So not the percentage of space, but the percentage of the volume of this box that's taken up by the cans, okay? Uh, and I should have said multiply by 100 or 100 over one, whichever you want there, okay? So it's taken up by the cans. Okay, so I take the volume of the cans over the original and the original would have been the box in this case. And if you put it into your calculator as just this, you get your answer back as a decimal, okay? And then you multiply by 100 or 100 over one, it's the same thing to um, change it to a percentage. So 12441.6, I'm just putting this into my calculator now, multiply by 100 and I'm getting does it say one decimal place? 78.539 is what I got. So if it's one decimal place, I have a look at that one. So it's 78.5%. Okay, let me just check that I put that into the calculator correctly. 12441.6 equals multiply by 100. 78.5%. So that is the percentage of the volume of the box that's taken up by the cans. If it asked me for the percentage space or wasted space, you would have to subtract one from the other and then put it over the original as well. Okay, but it was taken up by the cans. There are a number of different ways of arranging the 24 cans so that they can be packed into a rectangular box. The dimensions of the box may be different for different arrangements. Find the dimensions of the rectangular box for a different arrangements of 24 cans. Show you're working out. So in other words, they wanted you to basically take these 24 cans, okay, and arrange them in a different way, okay, and show your workings out. Okay, so 24 cans. They did four that way by three by two high. Okay, that's a crappy draw. Okay, so four by three by two. So length by width by height is what they did. Four cans by three by two. Okay. So what, what could we do? And, and they have to add up to 24. So we could do six cans. this way by two. So now I have 12 and then I could stack another row of 12 on top. Okay, so I'm doing six by two by two. Six twos are 12, 12 twos are 24. That's perfectly fine. Couldn't you also do um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So nothing stacked on twelve uh, on on top. I have twelve by two by one. Length by width by height. Okay, that would do. So as long as it's a rectangle, okay. And, and it's going to be, because there's no number that will give you 24 that's length by width by height. As long as it's a rectangle, you can arrange these boxes any way you want. Okay, so I'm going to do six cans by two by two. Okay, so I'm going to put it in here. No, it's written backwards. So my height by my length. by my width, okay? So what I'm writing down here is me showing my workings out, okay? 
and I'll get rid of that one because I'm not taking that example. Okay, so my height, each was 10. So this is two by 10, so it's 20. So the same one, oh, I better put in my units, the same one that was in the question. Okay, now my length is 7.2 is the radius. So this one would have to be a 7.2 by six. And I have 43.2. And my width then would be a 7.2 by two, which is 14.4 centimeters. Find the dimensions of the rectangular box for a different arrangement of the cans show your workings out. Okay, and it didn't ask me to get the volume, it just asked for that. Okay, that was the end of that question.